Mesh. Today we're talking about bobby pins. Believe it or not, there is a right and a wrong way to use bobby pins. And if you're using them incorrectly, you're just not gonna get the results you're looking for. So I have four tips today that are gonna help you be a better bobby pinner. So let's stop messing around. Let's get started. Number one, most important, if you ignore every other thing I tell you in this video, please just do this one thing, get you some good bobby pins. If you've been buying your bobby pins at the drugstore, you need to stop it. You need to stop that right now. Bobby pins are not all created equal. Drugstore bobby pins, no. No, just no. Stop, no. No. Professional grade bobby pins are head and shoulders above the bobby pins that shall not be named. I buy mine from Sally's, I love them. You can get a 300 pack for $7, it's not gonna break the bank. One of the biggest differences, the most important difference, is these are strong. They're strong. They are going to rip the hair better, they're gonna hold it tighter, and they bounce back. They maintain their shape. They're not gonna end up being all stuck open. Bonus, because these bobby pins are better, you can reuse them over and over and over again until the end of time or until you lose them all, whichever one comes first. But number two, don't open your bobby pins, guys. But mesh, everyone has been opening their bobby pins forever. Why shouldn't I do it? Let me put it to you this way. A paper clip is really good at holding a couple sheets of paper. But if you try to cram a paper clip on a whole ream of paper, useless. Pointless, it's not gonna be able to do anything, right? Okay, makes sense. Picking up what I'm putting down, smelling what I'm stepping in with bobby pins. Samesies. See that little opening? That's how much hair your bobby pin is designed to hold. This much. Not this much. This much. Not this much. Number three. This one surprises a lot of people. The wavy side on your bobby pin goes down. It goes against the head. Here's why. The wavy side of the bobby pin is what creates grip. The top side of the bobby pin, the flat side, is meant to hold the hair down and in place. So real quick, right, wrong, yes, no, winner, loser. And last but not least, sometimes you're gonna find that you put a bobby pin in your hair and it's just not feeling very secure. Crisscross your bobby pins. If your bobby pin is only holding onto your hair, it might not feel as secure as you want. But if you have a bobby pin, Holding on to a bobby pin, holding on to your hair, that is not going anywhere. Okay guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if these tricks were helpful for you. This is just scratching the surface. I could talk about bobby pins and how to use them and how not to use them forever. So if you like this and you wanna see more, definitely let me know. Thanks guys, see you next time.